Mr. Garagos and Ms. Glandian did not act with dignity during the course of the criminal proceedings. We hope they follow our lead and act dignified during this lawsuit. I will tell you this, the scorched earth lawyering will not play out in the United States District Court in Chicago. We watched that together moments ago in Chicago. Attorneys for the Osun Dairo brothers announcing a defamation suit against the legal team for Jesse Smollett. They say the brothers deserve to see their reputations cleared. Let's bring in Kevin Graham, president of the Chicago Fraternal Order of Police. I'm sure you are watching that along with all of us. What did you think when you saw that? Now the brothers uh, filing suit against Smollett's legal team. You know, uh, one of the things that um, is troubling is this case never went to court. And so they want to have their names cleared. They want to see justice served. They want to have the truth come out so that the people of Chicago and the people of Cook County uh, know what actually occurred. And so uh, I know that Jesse Smollett's attorneys have done everything they could to keep this out of the courtroom. Uh, we certainly have a problem here in Cook County because the state's attorney has dropped all charges. Um, it leads to other problems. And uh, we certainly uh, encourage um, wanting to get to the truth and uh, to get people to understand what occurred and that certainly the police did an outstanding job yeah. of um, investigating this case and bringing it forward. And I look forward to uh, the court case where we can find out and the people of Chicago can find out what happened. And what the suit specifically alleges is that Garagos, who was representing a Smollett in all of this, and his firm continued to say publicly in widely reported statements that the brothers, quote, led a criminally homophobic, racist, and violent attack against Smollett, even though that they knew that that was not true. Just hearing you talk about it today, uh, this is not quieted down in the city of Chicago, I'm getting from you everything that transpired during that time and during that investigation revolving around Jesse Smollett? No, it, it hasn't. Um, we've, got, we've got other cases that are, that are pending. Uh, we have a problem with the uh, prosecutor in this county. Um, you know, one of the, we, we've got people that think that the, that the laws are not going to be enforced. Um, we have, um, uh, we have uh, one case, uh, uh, Jedediah Brown, who attacked uh, several police officers, and um, then he is seen on stage with the prosecutor um, at her rally, uh, trying to support her, even though they're, uh, even though he had attacked several police officers, and now we're asking for a special prosecutor. So you know, the the situation with Kim Fox and the uh, state's attorney in this yes. uh, in this county uh, is still going on. I want to ask you about what happened. This was last Wednesday night. Thirty teenagers were arrested in the city of Chicago. Uh, hundreds of students, 200 officers it took filling the streets of the Loop neighborhood, which is the main business district in Chicago. What was happening that night? Well, you know, part of the problem is that, um, as I already stated, uh, that people feel that the laws aren't going to be prosecuted. Um, the state's attorney has uh, said that she's not going to uh, prosecute what she considers minor crimes. Um, but police officers are getting hurt. They're getting battered. You know, we haven't had a contract in two years. We haven't had a raise. Um, and what we're hoping for is that the new mayor that's coming in will back up the police officers, get us a contract. Um, we want to work with the city. We want to work to but, make sure that this is one of the safest cities. What was happening, though? I mean, we're talking about areas like Millennial Park, Water Tower Place, uh, some of the, the heaviest visited areas by tourists that come into the city of Chicago were these teenagers, and it, this was happening all the way up till Sunday night. Update me if there's been more, where these teens are gathering in the streets and they're tormenting individuals, stopping and knocking on windows of cars as they drive by. I mean, what more can you tell us about what is happening there? Well, certainly they, they have increased the number of police officers. We're, we're also asking for them to hire more police officers. But we have increased the officers in the downtown area. Um, but, 
you know, you can only cancel somebody's days off so many times. They have, our, our officers need to have some time off. And, um, you know, these, these kids are emboldened because uh, there doesn't seem to be a consequence uh, for their actions. And we want to change that narrative. Uh, we want the, the new mayor to back up the police. And uh, we want to do our job. We want to keep this city safe, uh, but we can't do it by ourselves. We, all we need help from the politicians. Right. We all want the police ahead, to be able to do their job. No, we hear you. Uh, Kevin Graham, Thank we you. appreciate your time this morning. Come back soon. Thank you. Thank you.